Hola everybody, this is Flo from Path Life Therapy and Healing. Today, uh, this is the second video of the series that I'm talking about twin flames. Information I have been um, receiving the last few weeks, channeling, um, listening to my clients in the office. Uh, when they do the past life regression, they enter into a, a state of trance when they uh, start channeling themselves and also talking with the with other light workers, ascended masters, so all that information. I'm also channeling in simultaneous. So, <laughs> so let's talk today about how are we creating a new timeline. Uh, how are we healing the 3D template and how uh, can we reconnect with our higher self to be able to anchor the Lemurian uh, consciousness back in Earth in this 2020, 2021 and onwards. All right, let's start with um, this thing of creating a new timeline. Okay. So I will show you a little thing that I <laughs> Yes, this is the way I tattle through different drawing things and talking with my guides and it's so amazing. You know when we're talking about a uh, consciousness shift or timeline shift, why we talk about it? Tell me, tell me what means a shift. A shift in time and space means that so we understand things in the 3D, things happen like one after the other one, like a step by a step. We have a clock to measure time, we have a calendar to measure the days, yeah, you know that. Cool, when we do a shift, we are doing things that were not expected to happen in that um, quantity of time mm -hmm. and in that uh, into the limitation of uh, time and space. Shift in consciousness and a shift in time and space. So we, for that, we need to create a new timeline. Because in this timeline we live in now, we will remain in separation. Because we are still living in duality. When we are creating this new timeline, we will be already connected with our multidimensional consciousness and the um, cosmic consciousness will be awakened and separation will totally disappear and people from the same soul cluster and twin flames they will don't feel separation at all they will behave like one spirit just split in different bodies but still being the same spirit at the moment we feel the separation we feel that we have things in common uh, Sometimes when we have these like momentums, like, <laughs> and then we come back to norm normal life, what people call normal. We, for that, we are creating a new timeline, but for creating a new timeline, all our consciousness needs to detach from the old timeline that we were born in. So we were born in a timeline when we were expecting things from life and we have certain capabilities and our consciousness was very attached to the 3D. When we are creating this new timeline, we will create a totally different concept of what means to be a human, what means to live in this world. And this new timeline will be the responsible of anchoring the Lemurian consciousness on earth okay so you and your twin flame are connected are one in the sixth dimension so that's why we feel when we are with, with the twin flame we are the same we can feel them we can um merge when we make love or when we talk on the phone and when we look to each other's eyes you know that already this is not new um but what happened <laughs> this is a very very beautiful question how do you connect with your twin are you interacting with your twin through the 3d 
So if you are, and I know the answer is yes, <laughs> we, had, oh, we all are still interacting with the 3D, that means that we are still very attached to patterns that were built in past lives with that twin, which makes that it still remains a separation. Even when we are, we are awakening in a 60 and we know there is no separation, but that makes us all the time um, switch, you know, from higher dimensions to lower, higher to lower. And then we feel these ups and downs, ups and downs. <gasps> then the human resonance is very high and we're like, ah, oh, I feel one with the whole. And then it gets lower and we're like, oh my gosh, I feel so lonely. I feel like everyone understands me. Oh my gosh, no one understands me. I feel like so different to the rest. And I could keep, keep going with different, uh, different uh, things that people say. In order to create this new timeline when in the 3D is no separation, and it doesn't mean be together hugging with your twin 24 hours, no means my twin can be in another country and I still, I don't feel distance. That's what we are looking for. Be able to transcend the limits of time and space and still be alive in the third dimension. That's the new timeline we are trying to build through the many challenges we are going through. So, so it's important to release all the emotions that were linking us to that person in past lives. Because unconditional love <laughs> holds no emotions. Emotional body may be still attached to past lives. That's why many twins need to be separate for a little while because they cannot handle their emotions and be able to separate what is love and what are emotions. Because in the 6D, no emotions. Emotions are from the 3D and the 4D. So we really need to cut off those cords that were made by emotions emotions of attachment, emotions of abandonment, emotions, which is the same, but vibrating differently, uh, emotions of belonging, hmm? emotions of uh, physical sex with that person. If I need that person, my twin incarnated in a human, for me to feel pleasure in my physical body, that means I'm making this link in between the person and my pleasure. That's an emotion. That's a thought. That's attachment. Because like I said before, if you are your twin, you don't need the other person there to give you pleasure. You can find that pleasure here. and have an orgasm in your whole body, even if the person is not next to you doing anything. The love, the pure love gives you the orgasm. But if you're in your mind, you created the dependency on the other the person, like I need her or I need him, that's still separation in the 3D, that are still emotions. Those things need to be gone, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not nice, I know, but believe me, you can do it. That will help you to detach you from the old version or the human version of your twin, because you don't want to, it's good to have a good relationship with the 3D version of your twin, no problems, but we need to connect with the higher self of the twin. So that means we really need to cut off all the old cords that are linking, linking us with him or her. How you can do it? Well, for sure you can come for a past life regression and we can work on that. Uh, otherwise you can work with the Atlantean crystals if you did that course with me, or if you did the Reiki level two, you can work with the symbols like I uh, needed for 
if, if you're doing the chakra balance uh, work with me as well, yeah, and um, another way, if you don't want to do any course with me, any therapy, you can still write a letter to that other soul that is so cool work, just write a letter and saying goodbye, <laughs> basically, see you later, hasta la vista baby, yeah, so when you do that, it really in real, uh, if you feel like you don't need help from any therapist, you can do it yourself. Um, then you can write a letter and, and, and just, you know, basically said, okay, I release all my connections and my emotions that, are, that were connecting me with you from the many past lives we, we were incarnated together. I will disconnect myself from all those emotions without expectation. It's like, hey, I know we are the same. So you know what? I'm not waiting for you. No longer waiting. I will live this life. And if in this life, for accomplishing my soul mission, I will have a partner who is a soulmate, all good, because you and me, we are still connected in the higher dimensions. That's unconditional love to yourself. Allowing suffering in yourself, that's not unconditional love. If there is suffering, is a is a inner call that is asking you to heal. For many, many millennials, people believe that suffering was love. And suffering are emotions, is not love. I promise you, when you do all this work, you will get to the point where you don't suffer anymore. Anyhow, soulmates are always there for you to come along and assist you and hold you. They are there. They, are, I tell you, because I live this, they always appear from nowhere. All of a sudden, you receive a text message, hey, hello, how are you? I want to be your friend. <laughs> and then you find yourself in a beautiful relationship with someone who a uh, beautiful twin, uh, sorry, soulmate, and uh, you guys help each other through pure love. So that happened, allow that happen to you. Soulmates are all around the world, so you may be traveling. <laughs> like once I was traveling in Mexico and I met one of my soulmates, and he teach me Reiki, he teach me so many things of spirituality. I saw him only two days in my whole life we remain friends until he passed away and now he passed but still I know I'm so connected with him so soulmate relationships are so beautiful I don't know why sometimes some people diminish their soulmate relationships but they soulmates soulmate is us it's the same spirit it's the same it's not it's not same soul it's same spirit it's nothing better than the other and that's another very important point if you're still thinking that your twin flame is more important than soulmate mm. <laughs> that's not loving yourself because if you love yourself you love your soulmates as well and i know many of you are like oh but i'm jealous i don't want my twin talking to the twin uh, soulmate emotions <laughs> that happened to me as well. Not to me, literally, but one of my soulmates, uh, they, they were very separate and living their love very separate from the world. And this uh, jealousy of things arise and they were like, oh, you know, we need to protect the relationship and that's all good. But you, look, this is never, never, never an option to give your back to a soulmate. Because the soulmate is also you. It's the same spirit. Doesn't work like that. That's pretty much like coming back to the, the, the old um, belief that, oh, my family is my daughter and my son. The neighbors, I can't love my neighbors because they are not my blood. It's the same. Saying that you can't love your soulmate because you love too much your twin flame. It's not different. What would be the best thing you could reach? Loving your soulmate as you love your twin flame. If you get to that beautiful love state, 
it means you're very close to God in your heart. It means that you are very connected with the universe and your multidimensional consciousness and your cosmic uh, heart. I will make more videos about this topic. I'm making this series today, so I can upload all of them in YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.